Hello everyone. We are going to discuss the emerging theme of data centers in India, industry landscape, demand drivers, and different business models within this space. To start with, what is a data center? A data center is a specialized computer system that combines high power compute and hardware in a controlled environment for the purpose of storing, safeguarding, and processing data on a large scale. In simple terms, think of it as a very, very large computer in a remote location that is helping enterprises in processing and storage of their data. The most important components within a data center are server rooms, interconnection equipment, power management systems, backup, and temperature control systems. The installed capacity of data centers is measured in watts, megawatts, or gigawatts. Over the last five years, installed data center capacity globally increased from 20 gigawatt to 42 gigawatt, implying a compounded annual growth rate of 16%. Asia Pacific and Americas led the pack with 18% and 17% CAGR respectively. Installed data center capacity is forecasted to show strong growth going ahead because of a multitude of factors which we'll be discussing shortly. The exponential increase in data creation worldwide and the adoption of artificial intelligence are the key drivers of growth in installed data center capacity. AI workloads, which currently account for 15% of global data center capacity, are projected to increase to 35% by 2030. Global data center market is reasonably consolidated, with top five players accounting for 35% of market share. Equinix is the largest data center pay player globally, with 12% market share. Now let's come to the data center landscape within India and look at the drivers of growth here. Needless to reiterate, the most important driver of growth for data centers is the exponential increase in data. And what is driving this? The robust growth in mobile and internet user base, video streaming, gaming applications picking up steam, and government's thrust on digitization of records. The second key driver of data center growth is the change in the way enterprises are accessing data. While the trend of cloud adoption has been happening for 15 years now, this trend has seen a significant acceleration in the aftermath of COVID, as enterprises are finding it easier to operate out of cloud rather than in-house servers. The last key driver of data center growth is the policy thrust on data localization. Be it Data Center Draft Bill 2020, Digital Personal Data Protection Act 2023, and regulatory emphasis from the likes of RBI and SEBI. Not just the central government, different state governments are now incentivizing data center setup by promising lower cost land, uninterrupted power supply, so on and so forth. Now, let us examine in detail each of these three demand drivers for data center capacity. India accounts for roughly a fifth of global mobile data consumption. And this share is projected to rise further with increasing penetration of internet, 5G, and smartphone usage. India's cloud industry is projected to deliver 20% CAGR over FI25 to FI30. As workloads move from on-premise to cloud or hyperscalers, global share of data center capacity is also moving away from on-premise to hyperscalers. As we all know, AI is becoming all pervasive. Global AI market is projected to grow at 43% CAGR until 2027, led by increased adoption of large language and reasoning models. Here is an interesting statistic. AI workloads and models require three to five times more compute versus normal workloads. And accordingly, this could be a key driver of data center capacity going forward. Right now, of the 42 gigawatt installed data center capacity, AI accounts for 21% share. This is projected to increase to 40% by 2027 and a staggering 52% by 2030, which means five years from now, 
AI data center capacity alone would be significantly higher than the overall installed data center capacity right now. Interestingly, India has the second highest number of ChatGPT users after US, accounting for 8% of their global subscriber base. And guess what? The amount of data generated by AI is directly proportional to the number of users using it. So India's AI data center capacity is projected to report 80% CAGR from 2024 to 2027 and a further 40% CAGR from 2027 to 2030. Here is an interesting paradox. India accounts for 21% of global mobile data consumption. However, it accounts for just 3% of the global installed data center capacity. This is due to the fact that most of the Indian data is stored outside its geographic boundaries because of the reliance on hyperscalers or cloud providers like Amazon AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. However, our policymakers and regulators are now pushing for data localization. Take for instance, the Digital Personal Data Protection Act of 2023. This empowers the government to restrict cross-border data transfers to specific countries, which create implicit incentives for domestic data storage and processing. Regulators like RBI and SEBI issue directives requiring all regulated entities, be it stock exchanges, brokers, mutual funds, depositories, etc., to store and process all payment and transaction-related data within India. Not just that, various state governments are encouraging data center capacity expansion by providing incentives around ease of approval, stamp duty exemption, capital subsidies, power subsidies, electricity duty exemption, green incentives, etc. Another interesting statistic. Across countries, if you look at the capex cost for setting up a data center, India stands among the lowest, next only to China. Capex cost per watt is estimated to be just about $7, almost 30% lower than in the United States. India's electricity cost at 13 cents per kilowatt hour is almost 20% lower than in the United States. So, we have a structural cost advantage both on CAPEX and OPEX of running a data center. Now, let's get into the details of supply and competitive landscape. Over 2019 to 2024, data center capacity in India has grown at 24% CAGR to reach 1 gigawatt of installed capacity. Now, this is projected to more than triple to 3 to 3.5 3 gigawatt by 2030, given the demand drivers we had discussed earlier. Mumbai and Chennai currently account for 65% of India's data center capacity largely due to sea landing cables and availability of uninterrupted power. Incrementally, capacities are coming up across more cities like Pune, Hyderabad, Delhi, Bangalore, and Kolkata, etc. Installed capacity at most of the cities is currently running at sub-4% vacancy rate, implying an urgent need for capacity expansion. Interestingly, large-scale data centers which are defined as greater than 20 megawatt capacity, are seeing more traction, possibly because of better cost economics. Large-scale data centers now account for 56% of installed capacity versus 42% five years ago. Hyperscalers or cloud providers now account for 54% of India's data center demand, followed by BFSI and technology industries accounting for 18% and 12% of the installed capacity respectively. The key demand driver over the last few years has undoubtedly been the hyperscalers. Even in the upcoming capacity of 1 to 1.2 gigawatt, 50 to 60% is leased or pre-committed by hyperscalers. Now, let us examine the Indian data center industry structure. The industry is consolidated 
with the top two players, that is NTT and STT, accounting for 50% of capacity share and top five players accounting for 75%. What is interesting to note is that there is a significant interest from new players to set up data center capacity in India. The industry operates on different business models like co-location, cloud, and managed services. The capital intensity and pricing varies across these different business models. So are the operating margins, payback periods, and ROE metrics. As of now, there are no listed companies in this space in India. But news reports suggest that some of these companies might be in the process of going for an IPO. Global listed data center companies have net debt to EBITDA ratio in the range of four to six times. These stocks trade at EV to EBITDA valuations in the range of 15 to 22 times on a one year forward basis. Before concluding, let's discuss an important aspect, which is the risk related to data center investments. Data center investments come with very heavy upfront capital investments, followed by slower revenue realization over a long period of time. This exposes the data center players to risk of technology becoming obsolete, especially in an environment where technology chain cycles are becoming shorter. If assets become outdated, there is a reinvestment risk which can completely change the NPV and IRR dynamics of the data center. Secondly, the cost structure of data centers is a bit complex given the assets with mixed lifespans like GPUs, land buildings, power and cooling systems complicating the ROI equation. Last but not the least, there is always a risk of extrapolation and overestimation of the current demand feeding into capacity buildup, which, if not materialized, can lead to utilization risk for assets in the future. For more detailed insights, please go through our recent research on data centers in India. Thank you all. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.